Good morning and welcome back to another day of Thankful Thursday. It has been a few weeks now, you guys, since I have posted a video. And I just wanted to come up here this morning on this Lord's Day, Thursday, the 29th day of April of 2001. And we're going to give God some glory on today because he has been so, 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 so good to us. And it's Thursday, thankful Thursday, y'all. So it's time to come on with a devotional and just be excited about our day. So welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you have not had an opportunity to subscribe to the channel, I welcome you with open arms and tell you to come on board with us as we continue to level up in our faith wall with the Most High God on today. Amen. So you guys, we're going to go ahead and open up with the word of prayer, and then we're going to go ahead and dive into our devotional on today. Amen. <clears throat> Most gracious and everlasting Father God, we come before you on today with a thankful heart. Thank you, Jesus, for another day, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it on today. Oh, hallelujah. God has been so good. He has been so awesome. And Lord, we just want you to know that we love you on this morning. We appreciate you, Father, for all that you are and all that you continue to do in our lives on a daily basis. I pray that my spirit will decrease and that your Holy Spirit through me will increase on today. I pray that this devotional will be able to connect with someone else's spirit man on today and that way they can take and and evaluate their lives god and make sure that they are staying connected to you on today we give you all the glory all the honor and all the praise on today because it is so not about us it's so not about me but it's about the great and wonderful and marvelous things god that you're yet doing in our lives and we thank you on today and we give your name all the glory on today i pray god that you will just have your way on today in our lives, God. Do as you see fit in the name of Jesus, God. And we pray that you will forgive us of our sins, sin of omission, and sin of commission on today. In Jesus' name we pray and we give your name all the glory. These and all other blessings we ask in the name of the Father, name of the Son, in the name of your Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, God is thankful Thursday. Thankful Thursday, thankful Thursday, yeah, all right, yes, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I have been MIA for a minute, but you guys, I've just been going through life. Life has had me high, low, and I sometimes feel like all over the place, but guess what? Through it all, God is good. He has kept me. He has kept my mind. He has kept my family. He's reconnected family. And hey, to God be all the glory on today. All right. So again, disclaimer, if you guys hear any unnecessary noise in the background, more than likely that's my dog Teddy or my daughter coming down to get some breakfast. I do have a little bit of soft music playing in the background on today as well. Uh, Teddy is outside right now, so hopefully I can get through this devotional without any distractions of him getting himself in trouble while he's outside. So again, yes, good morning and welcome to the channel. All right, so of course, um, our thankful Thursday devotionals are all about leveling up and our faith walk with the Most High God. And so today... Our topic is going to be um, being still in the midst of your trials and tests. Okay? Being still in the midst of our trials and our tests. All right? And, of course, I got my notes here. I have my Tony Evans study Bible um, here. And I have my, um, my compact Bible commentary that I will use as well as a reference for some of the scriptures, okay? And yes, um, if anybody is asking, I still do use 
my Sefer Hebrew Bible, which is a Bible app that I have on my phone. Um, I will use that one from time to time just to see it in a different language, which is the Hebrew language. And I do still use my King James Version um, Bible as well. But today we're doing Tony Evans. All right. So again, our topic is being still in the midst of our trials and tests. Okay. And we have a few scriptures that we're going to be coming from today. The first one is going to be Isaiah, the 46th chapter, verses number 10. And you guys, y'all know I already got my coffee here. All right. And my cup says, uh, woman of faith. So for all my beautiful queens out there today, know that you can be a woman of faith as well as you level up. In your faith walk with the Most High God. All right, let me sip a little coffee here. I pray that you guys have had a blessed and fantastic week. Last few weeks, because we haven't seen each other in a while. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and dive in. All right, so Isaiah, the 46th chapter, verses 9 and 10. And it reads, number 9. Remember what happened long ago, for I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is no one like me. Number 10, I declare the end from the beginning and from long ago what is not yet done, saying my plan will take place and I will do all my will. All right. So that's just reminding us that God is God. He is still on the throne and he knows our beginning and he knows our ending. All right. So again, that was Isaiah, the 46th chapter, verses 9 and 10. And now we're going to skip over to Psalms 46 and 10. And that is a very familiar scripture. And I'll just read it real quick. And it reads, be still. And know that I am God. All right. So like I said, while we're learning how to be still while we're going through our tests and our trials of life, we also have to be still and, and know that God is still on the throne. And as long as Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Mashiach, Elohim is seated at the right hand of the Father. Everything is going to be all right as long as we would stay connected. All right. Okay. And then our last scripture that we're going to go over really quick is coming from James, the first chapter. So I'm going to turn over to James real quick here. All right. And we're going to start at verse two. We're going to read verse two through four. And then we're going to jump down to verses 12 through 14. All right. So starting at number two. James, the first chapter, it says, Consider it a great joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you experience various trials, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its full effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. All right. So again, that was two through four, and now we're going to skip over to 12 through 14. And it reads, blessed is the one who endures trials because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Verse 13, no one undergoing a trial should say, I am being tested or tempted by God. Since God is not tempted by evil and he himself doesn't tempt anyone. Verse 14, but each person is tempted when he is drawn away and enticed by his own evil desire. All right. So remember, when we're going through our trials and our tests of life, that is not of God. God is not here to tempt us with evil thoughts or desires or whatever the, the circumstances may be. Just know that our trials, like, like it said here that it says, since God is not tempted by evil and he himself 
doesn't tempt anyone. So whenever we've been, we're, like I said, when you're going through the issues of life and you're like, Lord, why is God doing this to me? Oh, Father, why are you allowing me to go through this test? Know that that is not of God. But as long as we're connected to the Father, don't tell me he won't see you through it because he's, he's seen me through it. If he can see me through it, he can see you through it, okay? If he can see a lot of our friends in back in biblical days through it, then he going to see us through it too. But we got to stay connected if you want to get through them trials and tests of life, okay? All right. So again, you guys, please make sure you go back, read the verses for yourself. As I always say, I never want anyone to just take what I say. I want you to go back, open up the book and read it. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to give you understanding to what his word is saying unto you, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so again, so to be still means to stop everything that you are doing so that you can listen to the voice of God. We have to really surrender our mind, our heart, the issues of our hearts, the needs of our hearts, we have to give everything to God. It, it, it's really a time of surrendering. Saying, okay, Lord, I'm giving everything to you. This trial, this test, whatever it is that you're going through in your life, I feel like giving up, God. I feel like going back and just trying to, you know, going back to my old self because I can't, I can't endure this test. But God is saying, no, we have to stop. We have to disconnect from people, from places, from things, from social media, and really get our minds and heart focused on the Lord so that we can hear what he's trying to tell us while we're going through our trial, while we're going through our test, which is of who? The enemy, okay? We want to make sure that we're not listening to the voice of the enemy, but that we're listening to the voice of the Most High God, okay? Because that's the only way you're going to get through it, okay? All right, so uh, and I'm just reading my notes here. And being still is a time when you have to disconnect, as I just said, from things in your life that are distractions to you, Okay? People, friends, social media, TV, being still could also mean taking longer than a day or a week to really experience being still before God. So, you know, it like I'll say with me, I haven't posted a video in maybe three weeks now, a devotional. And that's because you guys, I have been just dealing with some stuff and I have to make sure that I'm in connection with the Father. I have to make sure that when I come on here and I and I do my thankful Thursday devotions with you guys, that I'm not I'm not coming out of here, coming up here out of order, um, just talking out of my flesh. No, I will not do that. I have to make sure that I'm in connection. I have to make sure that I'm prayed up. And that I'm really, that I have really taken the time to study the word of God so that when I come before you guys with truth, with the good gospel, then I'm not, it's not just what I say. No, it's what I study and what the word of God say, okay? So again, it's important to make sure that we are being still in the presence of the Lord so that we can truly hear what the voice of the Lord is saying to us while we're going through our trials and our tribulations, okay? All right. Um, all right. And, okay, let's talk about our spiritual trials. Spiritual trials are only tests that God is allowing you to go through. All right. The question is, will you allow these trials to break you or will you level up and trust in the Lord? So like I said, no matter how great or small that trial or that test is that you're going through, it could be financial trials. <clears throat> you're struggling in your finances. It could be trials in your marriage, relationships with your children on your job. It can be anything in life. It, it could be you. It could be you're struggling. Um, God is delivering you from an addiction. 
and, and you're struggling, you're going through withdrawals. It could be um, you're experiencing death in your family and you're having a hard time understanding, Lord, why? I don't know why. Why am I going through this? That's your trial and that's your test in that season. But do know that God is going to bring you out. And again, remember our trials and our tests, they only come to make us strong. They're not, they don't come to make you weak. They don't come to make you um, feel like you want to lose your mind, even though you feel like that sometimes. But if you stay connected, if you stay prayerful, remember effective, powerful prayers is, is what's the only thing that's going to bring us out and opening up the book, opening up the word of God and reading it. That's the only way that we're going to make it is that we have to make sure that we are in tune. We are connected with the father on a daily basis. It can't be an every now and again thing. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, like I said, I've been through, a, I've been going through some stuff lately for the last few weeks. And it's been, I, I found myself at a place where it was hard to pray at times it was hard. I always had my Bible sitting right here beside me. Sometimes it was even open. But the enemy had me so distracted with what I was going through that it was hard for me to, to just read it. Put my glasses on, Tammy, and just read what the word is saying. It's going to give you comfort. It's going to give you um, peace in the midst of what you're going through, but because my flesh, I was wrestling, my flesh was wrestling against what I was going through, that it wouldn't even allow me to focus like I needed to on my word, um, so that I could bring you guys Thankful Thursday devotionals. So that's why I say, I encourage you, um, my friends, sisters and brothers in Christ, please make sure that when you're going through and you feel like, you know, okay, I, you know, Lord, I can't do this. I'm all over the place. That's when you know that, okay, I just need to take the time. I need to be still. I need to stop everything that I'm doing um, as much as you can and really pray and open it up. Because the devil, he, he is having a field day with us when we get like that. When we get so distracted and everything else seems to be more important to us than studying the word of God or making sure that we're loving leveling up in the things of the kingdom and being connected. He that's what the enemy want. He want us to stay disconnected. But we can't allow that, you guys. We have to stay connected. We have to we God has given us power over the enemy. The word says greater is he, meaning the Father. Greater is is God that is in us than the devil that is in the world. So Calling on the name of Jesus, trump the enemy every time. It's going to send the devil running and scattering and getting out your way. Okay? Remember, we got to open it up. Pray. Effective prayers. Not that gummy bear, gummy bear watered down stuff. Okay? Even when you're going through your tests and your trials, you still got to pray effective prayers. You still got to do whatever it takes to keep yourself connected. Lit, worship. Put you some nice worship music on. Um, make sure that we're being aware of what we're listening to, what we're watching, what we're in, who is in our circle when we're going through our trials and our tests in life, okay? Because the enemy is not playing. He will do whatever it takes to bring you down and to cause you to lose your focus on the things of the Lord, okay? All right. So note to self again, don't allow what your trials of life look like to destroy you. God word remind us that, like I just said, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Spiritual trials or tests is how God does his very best work in us. If you allow him to. So again, what it say? Spiritual trials or test is how God does his very best work in us. God, I mean, when God can, you're going through what you're going through and, and the Lord already know, but yet we are allowing the Lord to just continue to control us and stay in his will. That's, that's the time when he's molding us. He's making us, he's shaping us. 
to be more like him. Okay? So we just have to know that life is going to happen. Life happens each and every day. Whether it's a loss of a loved one, a job, you're, you're, you're struggling financially, you're, you're struggling and leveling up and staying connected to the Father. Whatever the issues of your heart is on today, uh, my friends, know that God wants to bring us out of our trials and our tests. But we have to allow him in. We have to make sure that we're staying in the will of God. Because it's easy to get distracted and fall off. I could have allowed my circumstances of, of just different things that I've been dealing with lately to totally just throw me off and say, you know what? I ain't picking up my Bible. I'm not even going to try to pray. I'm not going to um, do my thankful Thursdays anymore. But I know that there's some people out there that's that look forward to my thankful Thursdays. And I know that this is a part of my ministry this is a part of what God is doing in my life. And I will not allow the enemy to destroy the work that God is doing in my life right now. So I have to stay focused. There is no other way. Going back is not an option for me, okay? And I pray that it's not an option for you. Stay connected. Stay in your word. If you need to go back and look at some of my old videos that I've posted of devotionals to get some encouragement, to get your zeal back, to get some, you know, get your mind in the back, in the right place, then I encourage you to do that because I did that myself. Sometimes going back and listening to my own devotionals, it, it encouraged me. Okay. So yes, go back, review the videos. Okay. Share, like, if you know somebody, some friends, family, whoever that is going through and they just, it, it seems like in the natural that they can't seem to get a break. Share this video with them, you guys, because it is not God's will that any of us go through trials and tribulations and, and they break us and they tear us down. That is of the devil. It is God's will that we continue to level up. Come on up in the things of the most high. Remember. The road to the kingdom is narrow, okay? A lot of people come into salvation, but they're falling off. They're not staying connected to the Father. They start out, but then they get all these gaps, all these open spaces, and then next thing you know, they so far removed from the Lord, they struggling because you got all these strongholds and you got all these things that's connected to you, that's keeping you from reconnecting with the father it's like you're playing um tug of war with your life i want to be connected but i can't i want to i want to give up i want to give up that addiction but my body is craving it I, I i i want to um not go into a deep depression but my mind is telling me to be depressed no nobody ain't got time for that no ma'am open up the word open up the book read it pray Ask the Holy Spirit to help you, okay? We should always have prayer on our hearts, in our hearts, in our minds, and on our lips daily. Giving thanks unto the Father for his goodness and his mercy. Another day of grace. Another day of mercy, okay? So, level up, level up, level up, okay? Okay? We got to stay leveled, you guys. Ain't, nobody got time to be going back to the old man. We got to stay leveled, okay? All right, so I am rounding up on my 30 minutes. But again, this wasn't a long devotional on today. You know, like I said, no matter the issues of our heart, learning to be still to and stop trying to fix everything on our own, God is a, is a good, good, good father. And there is nothing that God won't do for us when we learn to be still in his presence, okay? You have to learn how to be still in the midst of your trials and your, and, and your tests of life. Because if you don't, they will overtake you. The enemy will have a field day over our life. If we don't learn to be still, seek the things of the kingdom, make sure that even in the midst of going through, even in the midst of you know, want to give up. No, you got to stay connected. 
You got to make sure you're still reading your word. You got to still make sure that you're still um, praying. Your greatest lesson in faith are often learned in the darkness. So we sometimes we learn the most or God uses us the most when we're going through our trials because it is a testimony of how he brought us out. The enemy didn't destroy our mind. He didn't destroy our hearts. He didn't um, have us to be too far removed. The enemy didn't get us to, to that dark place in our faith where he want us to be. Remember, your greatest lessons in faith are often learned in the dark, meaning your trials and tribulations of life. Okay? All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and read our commentary real quick. I got five minutes here real quick. And we want to look at um, James, the first chapter. And we're going to do read and see what the commentary says in verses 12 through 14 all right so let me turn to that really quick here in my commentary bible um i thought i had it bookmarked y'all but i didn't okay so All right, so James 1 and 12, it says, The believer who endures trials demonstrates that he or she loves Jesus and therefore will receive the crown of life at the judgment seat of Christ. So remember, <laughs> what did it say? It says, The believer who endures trials demonstrates that he or she loves Jesus and therefore will receive your crown of life at the judgment seat of Christ. So again, not allowing um, your tests and your trials to overtake you and God see your heart and he see that you fought through what the enemy was trying to do to you. Hey, when that time come, you're going to get your crown, honey, because you stayed in there. You stayed connected to the Father. All right, verse 13. The focus of the chapter turns from trials to temptation, nor does he tempt anyone he will never deliberately lead a person to commit sin because that will go against his nature meaning god god will never tempt us into sin because god is not a god of sin okay he is a god of leveling up he is a god of deliverance he is a god of salvation not being tempted by sin okay he wants to deliver us from evil deliver us from sin and level up be connected with him okay all right and let's see what it says um it says okay he will never deliberately leave it lead a person to commit sin by because that would be against his nature and would be opposed to his purpose of molding his creation and into his holy image yet god does sometimes place his people in adverse circumstances for the purpose of building godly character. So you can look at it like that too. Trials and tribulations of life is the opportunity where God uses us and he brings us out so for his glory and to help build our godly character in him. Okay. So you can always look at it like that. It's not that it's God don't want you you to fail in it but he want to bring you out he want to mold you into his image so that you your life can continue to reflect a godly character all right and we're almost done here verse 14 it says draws away and entice express the intensity which with which desire lures a person until he or she is entrapped Sin does not force itself on the unwilling, but it chooses, but is chosen because of its attractions. Conceived suggests the image of a person's will binding toward and finally seizing evil. Full grown suggests bringing a goal up to completion. The idea is that sin has reached its maturity and has possessed the very character of the individual. 
So basically, you guys, we got to make sure that our trials and our tests of life aren't drawing us further and further and deeper into sin. We got to stay connected to God. Like I said, when you feel the pressures of life coming on, when you feel that trial and that test of 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 the withdrawals and the, uh, of whether it's from pornography, drugs, um um anger, bad attitudes, um sin, whatever. Whatever whatever that stronghold is this over your life. You, we have, what did, what did he say? What did I say earlier? Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. As long as you're connected to the father, it ain't but so much the enemy can do to you. He can try. He gonna come. He gonna test you. He gonna see if he can lure you back out to that lawless lifestyle, that lawless mentality of sinning. But as long as you stay connected, as long as you, you have an effective prayer life, as long as you can go before the Lord with singing and praise and thanksgiving on your lips and in your heart, you're going to say, oh, no, 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 not today, devil, not today, okay? You will not uh, defeat me today, okay? Because guess what? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And Satan, you are defeated. You are a liar. I declare and decree by the power of the Holy Ghost that you're going back to the lake of hell from which you come. You and all your demonic forces, you and all your enemies got to go, okay? So remember, learn to be still. And listen to the voice of the Lord while we're going through our trials and our test of life. Continue to work on leveling up. Everybody else is, everyone, all of us are created differently. We're all created in the image of the Lord, but we're all different people. We're all going to have our journeys of leveling up. I get it. We don't all level up at the same time. But guess what? As you're on this journey of leveling up, don't stay stuck. Don't stay dwelling on the old man, meaning your old self, okay? Get up in the mornings. Uh, put on the full armor of God. Put on the helmet. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Put on the belt to help keep your, your little girl up. Make sure you're carrying your sword, which is this, so that you can defeat the enemy every single time he come up against us, okay? Because he is a liar and he is defeated, okay? And we're going to give the Lord his due praise and worship, hallelujah. Because guess what? It's thankful Thursday. Thankful Thursday. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it, okay? We will not walk around in defeat. We will not let the issues of life tear us down, bring us down. God is still good, even in the midst of our tests and our trials. Even if you feel defeated, that's what the enemy wants you to think. But we are victorious in the things of God, okay? All right. Well, you guys, I am over my 30 minutes now. I pray that you have a wonderful, blessed day. I pray that the blessings of the Lord are hunting you guys down on today. My prayer for you is that whatever the issues of your heart is on today, whatever you are standing in the need of on today, I pray in the name of Yeshua, Mashiach, Elohim, that he will answer your prayer, that he will give you the desires of your heart on today. Don't tell me God won't do it because he did it for me, okay? He is good. And remember, it does not matter how your life starts. Your beginning does not determine your ending. You could have been born into a life of straight up lawlessness, okay? It doesn't matter who your parents are. It doesn't matter who you come from. God is our creator. God allowed us to be here on this earth for a reason. Everybody, everything in life has purpose, my friends, okay? Ne don't allow the enemy to tell you that your life don't matter or that you don't have purpose because guess what he is a liar okay 
He is defeated on today. We are victorious on today. Don't allow the things of your past to brainwash you and think that you cannot level up in the things of the Most High. He is a liar. Okay? Like I said, it don't matter who you was born to, what they did, what their, what the past is. The past is the past for a reason. Because we serve a God that is great, that is mighty, that is strong. He is Jehovah. He is El Shaddai. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, okay? And it don't matter what it looked like or what it looked like. As long as we are connected, as long as we have an effective prayer life, as long as you're opening up the word and reading it and not having it sitting over somewhere in your car, in your trunk, on your shelf, collecting dust, cobwebs, open it up, read it. Everything that we need is in the book, okay? But anyway, for real though, I'm going over my time. I need to go outside and get the dog, but... Have a blessed day on today, my friends. I love you. Sending you guys all sorts of virtual love with the from the Father, okay? God wants me to share love with you guys. If no one has told you that you are loved on today, that you are beautiful, that you are handsome, that we are kings and queens in the, in the things of the kingdom, okay? We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I got my strength back on the day, y'all. I got my strength back. Hey, I got my strength back. Hey, and yes, I got a new look today too. So don't nobody come for me in the comments. Yes, I'm a hairstylist and my hair is subject to look. <sighs> At least it's done though, y'all. I ain't never came up here with my hair looking crazy. Even with my head scarf on, y'all, I'm still cute. Okay, but anyway, let me stop. Y'all have a great day on today. I missed you guys. I really did. I miss doing my devotionals, but I am back, okay? Y'all might even get a video next week, okay? Because I've been gone for a minute, and hey, the Lord, God is good. And I have to continue to spread the love of, of, of Christ with you guys, with the YouTube world, okay? But anyway, have a good day. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, thumbs up if you like the video. If you like it, share it. You know, with your friends, with your family, with whoever. Go back and check out the old videos. Make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section, okay, of the video. So, I don't know who you are. I don't know, you know, if you have any prayer requests. You know, if you have any topics that you guys would like for me to do a devotional on, I will be more than happy to do that, okay? All right. Have a good day. It's time for me to do some work now. And until the next time, grace and peace be unto you. And I'll see y'all the next time. Find something to tell the Lord thank you for on today, okay? All right. Peace out. Bye.